Hello everyone, today I'm going to be showing you the complete beginner guide to Wix.com. So I've already uh, logged in with my uh, with a brand new account. Once you've logged in, click create new site. And this is the type of things going to ask you. What kind of website are you creating? Let's say I want an online store. I just select that. You don't need to select a subcategory, you can just click next. The store name, okay, let's name it um, Calypsid. Now it's gonna ask you what do you want to add to your website. I don't really want to chat, however you can just uh, remove that later, I'm gonna remove it right now. I want videos, I want music. Yeah, this looks nice, let's go next. And let's go to dashboard. Now from here what you want to do is connect a custom domain. A uh, custom domain is very very important. I recommend you use godaddy.com. This is, in my opinion, the best website for you to get your domains. Because the first domain, you can get like a very very cheap domain for like one year. Of course you don't have to use godaddy, but I really do recommend it. So this is how you're basically gonna do this. You're gonna sign in, or in this case create an account. Uh, create an account with Google, let's just do that. And I'm pretty sure I already have a, a domain, yeah I do. Let's type in another domain to, just to show you how it, uh, how this goes. So what you wanna do is type in Calypsid, and now you have Calypsid.com, Calypsid.co.uk. I, I recommend you having .com, they are a bit uh, more expensive, but they're really really trustworthy. So the domain that I have is already in use So I'm not gonna use one uh, Let's just skip to design your website So let's design the site now you'll have two options here. Let Wix create the site for you and uh, Basically make the website yourself I don't recommend having Wix create the site for you because it's very simple very bare bones I like to have way more uniqueness to my website. I want to have a lot more control So I'm just gonna pick a template so right here, as you can see, there's a lot of templates that we can use. In this case, if you are if you have an online store, question yourself, what do you want to sell in the store? Do you want to sell a single product? Do you want to sell to a certain niche? Or do you want to sell a lot, of, uh, a lot of different products that don't really correlate to each other? Let's just say uh, I'm going to be selling a niche now. Of course, let's see the best match, okay? What's that all about? Oh, very cool. Now, the way that you're gonna use this one is just click edit. Let's create a new site. And here you go, this is the website design builder. Let AI write your site content. Well, wow, that's new, I didn't see this before. Let's do that, type of store, online store. We can change some pictures, let's add a custom photo. Uh, click change strip background. You can add your own image, you can add your own video even. I'm just gonna go to image. You can upload media, but I'm not gonna do that. Mm, this is cool. Vintage radio, yeah sure. So after I've made the small changes to the website, let's get to know the different things that we can do here. We're currently at the home page, at the editor. Here you can see how the website will look like on mobile. Now, once we go a bit more right, you can see the undo button and the redo button. These are very important. This makes it so that it zooms out to 50%. And now that we've zoomed into 100%, I can show you what the uh, these buttons on the left mean. Now, this is to add elements. Let's click that. Here you can upload import images. Now this download button, once you actually go to the website, when someone goes to the website and sees this download button, this download button isn't going to take them anywhere. So let's click this and go to link. Now where do you want this download button to take you? I have a download button on my website and the download button takes you to a third website completely disconnected from my website. It takes you to a third party website that you can download something from that website. Now what you can also do is take the download button to take you to a page on your website here. Uh, you can do that by adding a new page. But on my website I use this, the web address. Here uh, if you have a third party site that you can just copy paste the URL, just copy paste it here and boom it will take you to that. Now there's also a third option 
that is very um, very popular as well. I've never used it, but it's this option called document. This is basically so that it never refers you to a third party ever and it makes the person be able to download the digital item directly from the web page. Now I've never used this simply because every single website always has a limit how big the file can be. So if I go choose file, it can only be half a gigabyte. So there you go. We can delete this. Let's do, let's do that real quick. Now here are the payments. Here's video and music. We can actually do this if we wanted to. Do that. And I think I have the perfect video for this. Now let's click this. Change video. And you can select a random YouTube video and you can also have the link. So let's just do something. Well, the video doesn't look quite that good. Well, when stretched because the resolution isn't that big but uh, you get to, you get the point you can add videos which is really cool now the other very very um, interesting element is embed code embed HTML now what this allows you to do is for example if there's something that you want on your website that you found on the internet and you have the code for that and there is no option to add that thing in elements you can if you have the code for that you can just copy paste the code here you can do testimonials so if someone bought something uh, for example you can have this now I know what it looks like you can just make reviews yourself without a, any sort of um, way for the person to actually confirm has actually anyone ever said that but yeah you can do that uh, websites use that all all the time let's go to add apps so what are apps apps are basically helpers and they're I think one of the most important parts if you want to have a button that when someone clicks they can donate to you you have to have the PayPal button if you want to drop ship you have to have one of these now let's head on to my business my business is what you're gonna use to change those backpacks into something that you're actually selling so let's go to add product you can select all of these and delete them because you're not actually selling them and then go to new product let's go to digital file actually because I've actually sold that before let's upload the file so this is a audio file so this is the file that I'm gonna be selling now here you can have the description for your product and now of course you're gonna want to have images and not just names for it to look pretty of course Let's go to Upload Media, add to page, there you go, you can price this, and there you go, let's click Save. Now I'm going to be adding a physical product, so let's do this. Let's add images of this, you can add the description right here, price, let's go... And on sale cost of goods so if you're drop shipping this should be if you're buying it for 8 you're selling it for 10 so custom text is something that you can use if you're printing on demand so if someone is um, if someone orders a t-shirt and you have to print something out you can give them an option for them to type something in you can type the same thing that they typed in to a t-shirt in this case let's go 50 character limit and let's click save so you may wonder well you added a digital product and a physical product and none of them are in the products so now what you can do is click X and set up a shipping so I'm gonna do this is by adding for example Croatia right here clicking save and now shipping to Bosnia and Croatia is uh, about like five dollars this is five dollars and shipping to everywhere else in the world is about let's go flat rate so we can actually do this it's about fifty dollars because this is a lot more consistent 
Now, there is a problem here. Let's say it's a, it's a lot cheaper to ship to Germany, for example, than it is to Americas. But uh, both of them are considered as quote-unquote rest of the world. So they're going to have the same rate of shipping. So this is another reason why I recommend you to select free shipping. Because with free shipping, you can add the price on the product itself. Uh, now you can exit out of this and connect the payment method oh my phone is charging right now I can't really okay just imagine I've set up the uh, the payment thing oh it is okay well that works as well I guess so let's go to these backpacks there you go and here it is here are the two products right here I want to show you another very important feature. So let's go to settings and get found on Google. This is your key to getting found in the search results, to getting found in the images section even. So let's get started with this. Keywords are basically words that can help Google find you. So for example, if someone typed in gothic, uh, shirt or something if uh, your keyword is gothic it's more likely for those people to find you so let's type in retro uh, you type in the comma to separate the um, words let's go to and there you go and there you go that is your beginner guide to wix Today I've showed you how to design your website, how to use the templates, how to set up a store, how to sell up products, different types of products. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you found this tutorial helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And as always, see you in the next video.